Our top story tonight, the funeral procession for fallen Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz will take place tomorrow afternoon. As Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal reports on where the funeral procession will travel. Missouri Governor Mike Parson ordered flags at half staff Thursday and inside the Missouri Capitol a moment of silence followed words from the state senator representing Schmidt's district. The apple of Jared's life was his uh, younger, his younger sister who was uh, developmentally disabled and he would every day walk her to the bus stop and walk her home. He will be missed. He will be missed by the people of Wentzville, by his, by his family, his friends, and he will be missed by our country. He was truly one of the best of the best. The family of Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz, the 20-year-old Marine killed in Afghanistan, was deeply moved by the amount of support witnessed last week when his body returned home. There's so many people going by, it's almost a blur, but some that didn't know him, some that did know him, and the, how much it impacted them just, honestly, God, meant the world to us. Rich Bauer is a military veteran moved by how much the support means for Schmidt's family. I'm thinking, holy macro, if they can do something for him leaving the airport, why can't we do something for him coming from the funeral home going down to the cemetery? Friends of the family encouraged the public to show their support by finding a spot along this route from 70 near Bowie Funeral Home to 270 to 255 and Telegraph to Jefferson Barracks. The procession is expected to begin around 2 p.m. with highway closures starting after 1. So we want to let them know that all of St. Louis wants to pay our respects to them because he fought for our freedom. Hey, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.